Today, we're going to delve into the fascinating world of hyperkalemia, a condition characterized by an abnormally high level of potassium in the blood. More specifically, we will discuss the role of calcium in managing this condition. To kick things off, let's talk about the mechanism of action. What's interesting about calcium is its direct antagonism to the membrane actions of hyperkalemia. It acts as a protective shield for the heart by stabilizing the cardiac membrane and should be initiated first among the various treatments for hyperkalemia in the setting of cardiac toxicity. Now, let's move on to dosing. In an emergency situation involving hyperkalemia, we're looking at administering intravenous calcium gluconate, around 1,000 mg to be exact. This can be repeated every 30 to 60 minutes if required. As mentioned earlier, it should be initiated first in the setting of cardiac toxicity. Remember, calcium, while acting as a stabilizer, doesn't alter the serum concentration of potassium. It's like a goalkeeper in a football match, preventing goals but not necessarily contributing to the scoreline. Therefore, it's crucial that calcium therapy be complemented by other treatments that actually help lower serum potassium levels. Let's talk pharmacology next. Calcium works fast, with the onset of action within mere minutes. However, much like a sprinter who starts off fast but tires quickly, the duration of action of calcium is relatively short-lived, typically around 30 to 60 minutes. Lastly, no treatment is without potential complications. Some possible adverse effects of calcium include paresthesias or a tingling sensation, vasodilation, and anxiety. It's similar to the side effects you might feel from a strong cup of coffee, a bit of jitters and increased heartbeat, but usually nothing too serious. In summary, Calcium plays a key role in managing hyperkalemia by stabilizing the cardiac cell membrane against undesirable depolarization. However, as it doesn't alter the serum potassium level, it should be used in conjunction with other therapies that can help reduce serum potassium levels. It's a team effort in managing hyperkalemia, and calcium is just one effective player in the team.